Hello friends, I'm Dr. Rosa Oliai, obstetrician and gynecologist. Uh, today I wanted to discuss with you about uh, one of the worrying sound disease which is coming up. A few days back I got a call from a patient and she sent me a picture of her mouth open uh, with a little black dot on the tongue, you know, and uh, she was petrified. She was telling me, do I have, do, have I got this black fungus? And am I going to die? So it really uh, made me think that what a panic is going on over the, you know, the disease which is mucormycosis or the black fungus, which is actually a very rare disease, but with a high mortality of 60%. Uh, so, they, so today I thought that I must talk about uh, this disease, uh, which is actually commonly known as fungus or humble fungus which is always there we see during rainy season it's on the ground uh, it, it, it uh, is on the plants it's sometimes in the fridge you know when it's closed for a long time and uh, most often it attracts it's attached as fungus pores mucopores on the starchy things like sometimes on shoes you see if it's kept for a long time on the bread you know it has this greenish discoloration let's we'll say it's fung fungus infected so truly speaking it's Ubiquitous, that means it's found everywhere. The pores of this uh, fungus is everywhere and it's on the ground, it's on the vegetables. Sometimes, you know, the pores come and, you know, it comes on us also. Maybe it could be present on our nose, mouth, in generality. Because the immunity of the body is high, it doesn't affect us. So it is there apparently. However, when the immunity comes down, when the body hasn't got the enough you know antibodies to fight any infection that is a time when we are susceptible to this infection which is very dreadful so which are those conditions normally let's not talk about covid right now it's conditions when the you know there is cancer treatment chemotherapy we give uh, you know medications radiotherapy where the immunity of the patient comes down uh, patients which are in organ transplant like liver transplant kidney transplant or they are immunodeficient like HIV AIDS during those uh, you know diseases amongst these kind of patients once the immunity is down if they get they come across fungal and fungus or mucopores then they get the infection so uh, now when we talk about COVID times and why now it is on the rise is because of the misuse of steroid drugs in a COVID patient so that is a time when, uh, you know, a patient uh, who is in the hospital or it's at home and is using too much of steroids, which is not controlled, which is not supervised, it helps with the immunity to come down in those patients. Now, when you get the infection, this infection, if you get it, you get it affected in your nose, it goes to your sinuses, which are beside the, you know, nose, it goes to your eyes, goes to your brain, intracranial area, it goes to your lungs and sometimes it even these uh, infection the pores get inside your stomach and that's really beyond control then so now how to control the spread of this disease which is very important the best way is of course to prevent it so the control of giving this drug steroid so what really happens is in a covid patient during the sixth day or the, four, the seventh day, when there is a lot of, you know, cytokines storm, when we say, when the immunity of the body is at its maximum during those periods, and trying to, the body tries to defend itself against the coronavirus, that is a time we give in the steroids to decrease that immunity, the, you know, the cytokine storm, as we say. What are we doing with it is, Suppose if the steroid is given to you just uncontrolled, you're taking it on yourself or there is no, you know, control over the dose, you're in taking it extra doses, you're trying to decrease your immunity further on. So once the immunity of your body is coming down, too much of steroid will even increase your sugar in the body. So in a patient having cor a coronavirus co infection, on top of it steroid, on top of it immunity down and you're giving this, you know, extra doses of the steroid which is not really useful, rather it's harmful, you're causing more fuel giving it to fire. So there's more of oil being added to the fire, increasing the 
complication. And that is a time that, you know, the infection gets into the body. Sometimes when it is seen in a crowded ICU, in a crowded hospital, the oxygen line, the pipe that we are using, which we use on our mouth, when, when it's kept here, the pipe may be infected. Sometimes the water which is, which is attached to the oxygen cylinder, if it's not distilled water, it's not good water, sterile water, then the fungus grows in that and that's how it comes to your mouth, to your nose, you get infected. So we have to be very careful about the kind of oxygen cylinders that we use. It should not be the industrial grade, but it should be the medical grade, which one has to be very careful. So the places that you are there in the ICU especially, the doctors should be very careful about it to look after the hygiene. Now, what if you got the infection? So the earlier you diagnose it, the earlier you uh, talk to your doctor to inform your doctor, the better. So what are the symptoms that, of course, you first get? you should know about it? So you will get a little bit of brownish discharge from your nose. Sometimes you get little irritation around your eyelids. Sometimes the eyelid is drooping down. You cannot open it. Sometimes there's blaring of vision. At times there is pain near the sinuses in this area. There's a little bit of discoloration, redness or maybe a blackish discoloration, you may develop headache. This is the early stage. That is a time you must tell your doctor. So you have to know the symptoms and then you can tell the doctor. Immediately the treatment will start. That is decreasing the dose of steroid for you. Seeing to the uh, how much is the affected area, how much ever it is, sometimes you have to even control the diabetes because until your sugar is not controlled, come down. The fungus will affect you more, attack you more. So giving proper medications for diabetes to control the sugar, the tests are done, blood tests are done, sometimes nasal endoscopy is also done. You know, we put inside endoscope inside with a tube, laparoscope, then we see it. How, uh, you know, the effect is how much it's gone. This has to be removed. Unfortunately, the bad side of it is, even if it is a little bit of the dark spores which are there, it has to be removed by surgery. So when you remove it, it will not spread further on. Yes, in more complicated cases, even eyeballs have been removed because these are the patients who go less, very late to the doctor because, you know, the awareness is not there. So through this video, I'm trying to help you to spread the awareness to know that the earlier you look after these symptoms, you go to your doctor, the better it would be to prevent it. Usually, for patients who are at home, they are not hospitalized, around the day 10th, 12th, they come to know about these symptoms which I just told you. So be very careful if you are taking treatment at home. Be very careful with your uh, medications. Make sure that you are taking medications from a physician, MD physician, who knows about the medications of the protocol. Do not follow WhatsApp messages. Do not follow the prescription of your aunts, uncles, friends neighbors that this my doctor gave me this i became all right so you take this this is very wrong because your body your symptoms need a particular prescription a particular medicine so it's tailored you cannot just follow one prescription so please be aware of these whatsapp messages that is going on and the prescriptions that your friends have given you you have to consult a doctor if your fever doesn't come down, if suddenly on the 10th day it's gone up suddenly again, you're having these symptoms of pain which I just told you, please be careful. So the prevention is very important. It is not that dangerous if you earlier diagnose. It becomes very bad as I told you, mortality, death rate is 60%. That is quite a bit actually if you see to it, especially with the time that you know we are in. Using of air-conditioned room, I would suggest keep the doors open less use of air condition because nowadays the rooms are packed with people try to have more fresh air now once you're discharged from the hospital or when you are recovering from covid those patients usually when they go home on day seven to eight we tell them walk please do not let them exert themselves walk outside because remember what i told you the pores let them not go near the garden. Let them not touch the mud or maybe the plants which are there. Let them be at home in the room. Let them not walk out too much. Drink a lot of water and uh, try to keep themselves a little away from crowds. Because again, it is a poor 
it is the the uh, you know the pores which go inside and which will find a place to try and survive and cause this dreadful disease of um, black fungus so no gardening for these patients no going out in fresh air also for some time tell them because they are on they were on steroids and the immunity is down so to summarize this what i just told you is just um, remove the infection that means your diabetes should be controlled sometimes these patients even if they are not diabetic with the high dose of steroids their blood sugar automatically will go up so it is very important for these patients to control their blood sugar how is it done very simple glucometer it's a very small instrument which can be with you at home which can be given to these patients and they can monitor themselves in the morning and in the evening and remember friends in the morning your blood sugar may be normal but when you're on steroids because you're taking steroids by evening your blood sugar will shoot up be very careful so that is a time you have to monitor yourself that is a time when you see that the blood sugar is a little high in the evening inform your doctor the doctor the physician will decrease the dose of the steroid for you so the whole thing the crux of the whole thing is a steroid it's a game with a steroid you have to you just use it judiciously very carefully and not to increase the dose on your own for any symptom which is there quickly to be shown to your doctor have a consultation with a doctor because when you prevent the complications you will be able to overcome this disease it is on the rise i've seen my uh, colleagues ent surgeons in different parts of the country when we talk in the forum they're surprised to see that most of the senior ones that maybe in 35 years they are saying it such a big rise of uh, black fungus so take care of yourselves and i'm so happy to have your uh, feedbacks do like and subscribe the channel wishing you all the best and take care of yourself